For the first time ever, Reed Arena hosted a pair of non-conference ranked teams Saturday night as number 24 Texas A&M took on 16th ranked Baylor. Colin Deaver is out on assignment at Reed Arena for that matchup. I am Lee Benson. The Battle of the Brazos returned to Aggieland Saturday night and the 12th man was ready. A very healthy crowd shuffled into Reed and they were rewarded for their efforts. This was the first time these two teams had played a game in College Station since the 2011-2012 season, and the Aggies made the most of it. What a start for Texas A&M. Anthony Collins out ahead to Jalen Jones for the easy bucket. The Aggies would score the first four points. Moments later, Daniel House gets the steal, and then the slam. The Aggies opened a 16-4 lead over Baylor in the opening minutes. More from House. He dials it up from way downtown. We know he can shoot. House had been struggling a bit lately, but that all ended Saturday. A&M up by 13, and House hits another three. Then gives some love to Anthony Collins. It wasn't just House out there, though. Alex Caruso sets this play up very nicely, then takes the backdoor pass from Tavario Miller. Caruso slams it home. 12-point lead for A&M. Then Jalen Jones. He likes that spot at the top of the key. Jones hits the shot and then tells you how much it counts for. Aggies up 34 to 16, and then why not? More from Daniel House. That just before halftime. His third three of the game. Texas A&M carried a 51 to 30 lead into the break. The Aggies did not let up after halftime. They have their way with Baylor. Texas A&M wins 80 to 61. A fantastic win for the RPI, and that'll definitely help the Aggies as they look to make the NCAA tournament later in the season. Um. Obviously, our, our guys were ready to play. That was the, the great thing. I thought we had our best week of practice. We prepared the right way. Our seniors did a good job of setting the tone, and uh, I thought our bench came in, and we were the aggressor, uh, especially on the defensive end. And um, We had 23 assists sharing the ball, and obviously we made some shots, but it, it was, uh, like I've been saying, it was just going to take us some time to get our rhythm going and getting it a good consistent flow defensively and offensively. What's your takeaway from Tyler's performance, especially guarding Gathers for most of the night? You know, we really did a good job of doubling Gathers early and getting it out of his hands, but Tyler kept him off the block. He didn't let him get close. You know, his size and his toughness gives us a presence that we haven't had uh, in, in, since I've been here. Uh, and I uh, thought that was a big, big part of the game. 